hear the Secretary of State talk about that, uh, not knowing why the survivors haven't talked out, mm -hmm. spoken out, mm -hmm. and he's spoken to one of them. What do you think? I, someone needs to ask the president to define the word transparency because I think he has a different understanding of it than other people. The fact that, forget the fact that John Kerry's met with him. How come members of Congress have not been given the names of these people? There's more than one. So, so John Kerry's met with one of them. His lack of curiosity is kind of remarkable there. Uh, you know, he's met with them, but uh, I don't really know why other people, have, you know, I mean, there's just no curiosity here. Uh, it, there should be more oversight in this situation. Congress should have the names of these people. They should have had the names of these people when this happened. And let's point out that we have continued to ask for these names, continued mm -hmm. to ask for access, and have been denied. I mean, so what it's not like you can drive down to the than hospital. To speak to somebody who was there, you know? I mean, but, come on. But it's going to happen. I mean, reports say that there are anywhere between 7 and 30 U.S. personnel injured in the attacks on Benghazi. We're going to hear from them. These things come out. That's guaranteed. We know that. They will tell their stories. Maybe on this network. It seems likely to me. Everything is revealed in the end, sooner rather than later, certainly in this age. And so it seems to me the wise course for the White House is to come up with some sort of coherent story about what happened that night. Because somebody will be, eyewitnesses will be telling that story. This will not last forever. And they seem to imagine that the details can be kept from the public indefinitely. And that is just not the case. Charles. What I think they imagine is that people won't care, meaning the mainstream media won't care, the story will be cold. They think they scored a great coup on the day that Secretary Clinton was on the Hill and the Republicans did not exactly distinguish themselves in their questioning and that it was over then. And I think for, for much of the media it is over. So I think they're counting on incuriosity on the part of the press as they did at the beginning. They wanted to drag it out until Election Day succeeded and, and now they're going to drag it out. There'll be other crises so when it comes out I think the, the, the calculation of the, the administration is it won't matter then. I think it might, it depends on what happens. The only explanation for all of the secrecy here is that it is likely that a large number of these are CIA undercover, you don't want them out there and you have to protect secrets and identities, I understand that. But it's likely that there are at least a few who are not. And hiding their identities, I think, is absurd, and it is, it's not going to help them in on, the Well, end. let's go on to the investigation. Egyptian authorities are now holding one of what is believed to be one of the key uh, suspects in the Benghazi attack. And uh, so far, U.S. authorities have not had access uh, to this guy. And um, he goes by different names, Abu Ahmed, uh, Gamal. Uh, bottom line is they think he's directly tied to the Benghazi attack. And still, much like we saw in Tanzania, uh, we haven't had access to him. Well, the administration has said that you know they're going to... Track down the, per the people who did this. This is what Obama said right after it happened, and they just don't seem to be that aggressive about it or that interested in it. And, and in terms of keeping the identities of these people secret, they can be kept secret and still disclosed to Congress. You know, so it's not. I'm not saying they need to, you know, make a, a Facebook page and put everybody's faces on it. They, but they should give the names to Congress, and Congress should have an opportunity to talk to them and investigate them. And at a bare minimum, read. The FBI notes from investigating them. Yeah, I said Tanzania. I meant Tunisia. 